and Sachitan and Suda. Ah, Jay Sachita and Ila and all the Mahatmas here, huh? Marcella, Gabi. Yes. And yes, wonderful. <coughs> So, um, let us begin with the three mantra, please. Uh, Luz, you want to start? Three... Con el tri -mantra. Uh -huh. con el tri -mantra. Thank you, Patricia. Sí, yes. Yes. Uh, Jai Sachitana. Jai Sachitana. Jai Sachitana. Namo Vitragai. Namo Arigatana. Namo Sitana Namo Namo Vazayana Namo Sakuna Wonderful. Thank you, Luz. <coughs> if now if I'm coughing, that's not because uh, there's something wrong with my throat. Nima just 
put a lot of chili pepper in something that she is cooking. You see, <laughs> so, and so, so that's what's happened. Ah, all right. Well. Es su tos, no es por enfermedad, sino que tiene algo en la garganta, porque Nima está cocinando algo con un montón de chili peppers. <laughs> so, my friends, uh, Jay Sachidanan from Sitsimandar City. And uh, how many of the Mahatmas, uh, Spanish Mahatmas, are in Simandar City? How many have, are here right now? Do you know? ¿Cuántos mahatmas de habla hispana eh, de, de acá hay en Simandar City? Pregunta si sabemos. We don't know. I see. Okay. All right. We will get, we'll get to know. <laughs> we'll come to know when the time comes. Huh? <coughs> so, we are going to now start a new series uh, called 325 Degrees. <coughs> 325 degree and the progress as the self or otherwise known as Purusharth to, towards 325 degrees. Hmm? Yeah, I have. No, se te, no se te está escuchando bien. Ajá, uh -huh. sorry. Okay. Ahora sí me, ahora sí me escuchan bien. Ahora mejor. Bueno, hoy vamos a comenzar una nueva serie que es este, se llama 325 grados y se trata sobre el progreso del ser para alcanzarlos. Mm -hmm. New series, okay. This is a new series and we are going to call it 325 degrees. Uh, y lo vamos know. a esta, esta nueva serie se va a llamar 325 grados. Uh, and so today is session one, hmm? session one. And I've given you, uh, some of you already have this new latest December Dadavani. <clears throat> and we are going to uh, study this at the feet of Dada and absorb his words. Hmm? And so I will share <clears throat> the Dadavani. And then Patricia... And I, we will, you know, we'll just, I will just read some of the material. And uh, you, Patricia, will, it will be there in front of you to, uh, to um, translate it. And then later on, uh, we will, as the sessions continue, we will have the uh, Spanish translation available. So, you know, along with the English, okay? <clears throat> All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bueno, este, él ya compartió con nosotros esto, algunos ya lo tienen, y en estas sesiones vamos a estudiar y a observar, a absorber las palabras de Dada. ¿no? Hoy este, eh, Yuda va a estar eh, dándonos este conocimiento, yo voy a estar traduciendo, pero después ya van a venir las sesiones este, traducidas del inglés al castellano, en inglés y en español. Ok, so... Hmm. There is a hand that don't, don't let me read. I don't know what it is. No, I know. I know. It's a. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, okay. Somebody is wanting to allow to access my screen. Okay, allow. All right, now <clears throat> what I need to uh, stop sharing and now let me start sharing it again and see if share. <clears throat> All right, do you see that now? <clears throat> do you? Yes, do you yes. Okay, wonderful. Hmm? Uh, uh, so we are all going to be together with this session, this Dadavani, which is uh, called the progress of the self to reach 325 degrees, okay? Mm -hmm. will, mm, el título es el progreso del ser para alcanzar los 325 grados. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 
in the Gnan Vidhi, we come to 303, 3 to 305 degrees. And so now we have to proceed further to 325 degrees. And in the 325 degrees, when we reach, we will not be interfering with anyone. There will be no dako, no dakal. <clears throat> no dako, dakal. So let us go now. That is the Dadavani. Uh, <clears throat> and in here, this photograph, uh, these are Dadashri's handwritings, you see. Dadashri has written some number one, number two, and so this is so beautiful. This is handwriting of our Gnani Purush Dadashri in Gujarati. <clears throat> Esto es este, esto que están viendo acá con la foto de Dada Shri eh, y las letras, esta es este, la, la propia letra de Dada Shri que él escribió. Y acá está el número uno y el número dos. And then there is a signature. So I will explain to you all of this. Now it says here, it begins with Tane Laukik Sukma Rashoi Totu Jiv Matrane Sukhap. If you are <coughs> interested in having worldly pleasures, then you give pleasure to every living being. And if you are an anetane dukmaras hoy to tu lokone dukhap, and if you are interested and if your interest is in pain, dukha, then you give pain to people, other people. Ajagat Sarvasva Taruj projection. This world is entirely your own projection. Go on. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes. Eh, dice que si Dada dice que si estás interesado en los placeres del mundo, le vas a dar placer a todos los seres vivientes. Y si estás interesado en el dolor, le vas a dar dolor a todas las personas en el mundo. Entonces el mundo es una proyección de tu interior. En mm -hmm. número dos, uh, uh, Dada dice, Dada es written, Tare Laukik Suk. Ane dukthi par jabu hoi, to hun kon chu e janma no prayatna kar. If you want to go beyond the worldly pleasure and pain, then you try to understand who am I. Try to know who am I. Trep ane te prayatna ma pakta Gnani Purushni Khoj Kari, Temni Pase Jai, Temni Agna Marevu, E Moksh Dharma Che. And in that effort of get, wanting to know who am I, all you need is to search for a Gnani Purush, search out a Gnani Purush, seek out a Gnani Purush, and to go near him and to remain in his agnas is called the religion of liberation, moksha dharma. Mm -hmm. Dice que si tú quieres ir, a ir más allá de los placeres mundanos, este, todo lo que tienes que buscar, saber, es quién realmente eres tú. Y en ese esfuerzo, solo buscas un Nani Purush, permaneces cerca de él y permaneces en las cinco agnas. Uh -huh. And, not only that, uh, so now it is signed here, Ambalal Murji by Patel, and then Dada draws a line, underneath he has written Dada Bhagwan. <clears throat> Y acá vemos este, que, que escribió Dada Shri eh, Ambalal en Patel. Y él trazó una Mur línea y abajo escribió Murji Bhai Mur 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 Patel. Murji Mur eh, Ambalal, Ambalal Murji Bhai Patel. Patel. Y abajo 
Yes. En Patel. Y abajo trazó la línea y puso, da, escribió Dadaba One. Ok. Now then he further explains Hu pote dada bhagwan nati Pan bhagwan adehma Sarvamshe pragat Thayache Anete dada bhagwan che In other words he is saying here That I am, I myself am not dada bhagwan <coughs> But the, the Lord, the God that has manifest 100% inside in this body, <clears throat> that is Dada Bhagwan. You see? Hmm? Entonces dice, yo no soy Dada Bhagwan, pero el Lord que se manifestó 100% en mi interior es Dada Bhagwan. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then he writes Vadodra. So this is this is the location when he wrote from where he has written this message. And then this is the uh, Indian calendar. Asovad eleven sambat two o three five. You don't need to worry about that. But the exact date here is. <clears throat> November, because in India they put the month in the middle, November 1st, 1983. So this was written in Vadodara on the 1st of November, 1983, you see. Hmm? Mm -hmm. eh, después está escrito, donde fue escrito, que fue escrito en Vadodara y la fecha. Y la fecha es eh, primero de noviembre de 1983. Mm -hmm. So there's the Indian calendar and the Western calendar. Okay, so there, so at his feet and with this, what that he has written, we proceed on the religion of liberation, you see, by remaining in his agnas, you see. So we have attained all this. We have attained his agnas. We have uh, given, been gotten the exact understanding that Dada Bhagwan is the invisible Lord who has manifest in the body of A.M. Patel, you see. Hmm? Este... Con esto lo que vemos es este, que seguir las sagnas es lo que nos lleva a la liberación. Y es el exacto entendimiento que el ser que se manifestó en él es Dada Bhagwan. Que se manifestó en, en Patel es Dada Bhagwan. Beautiful. Now, so this Dada Bhani of December 2024, my friends, is a uh, is actually a uh, very specially put together with a combination of Apta Sutras as well as Apta Vanis, you see. And in addition, the new book called Sahajta or Naturalness that came out specially, and that was the first book that came out with Avadnani Pujadipakwai as the producer of that book, you see, called Sahajita. And I will write it down in the chat here. <clears throat> Sahajita. Uh, Sahajita. Sahaj? Sahaj means natural hmm? and easy. Hmm? And easy or spontaneous. Hmm? Flesh spontaneous, you see, and <clears throat> and sahajata, sahajata means uh, the state of being natural, the state of being natural, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I give you that in the chat here. 
Can you see yes. the chat? Can you see the chat? Uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm looking at this moment. Saha is natural, in forma espontánea y fácil, y, y fácil. Y ah. después sahata es el estado del ser, de ser natural. Sahajata, sahajata, jata, sahajata. Sahajata es el estado eh, de ser natural. So now Which it came? begins. Yeah. So this is uh, a combination of Apta Sutras, of different levels of Apta Sutras, and Apta Vani is, you know, very important sentences of the, the, the Apta Vani's, different Apta Vani's that have been put together as headings. And then there is satsang below it. So we begin with the first satsang now, okay, with the first heading. So when you see it in dark, it is, that is the beginning of the heading, you see. Mm -hmm. and, <coughs> and later on, once you have the Spanish translation available, you know, and we need only a few pages. So you can just put this underneath, you see, put your Spanish underneath <coughs> and underneath every question and answer of the other you put your Spanish and so we read you know one after the other like we used to do before in the flawless vision etc mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. now now we will do direct Mire, la traducción sorry sorry mm -hmm. Eh, sí. Ahora hoy vamos a hacer la, la traducción directa, pero pide que eh, debajo de cada línea que está en inglés, la traducción esté abajo, así en cada renglón y en cada título, en cada pregunta y en cada respuesta, como hacíamos anteriormente. Pero hoy vamos a ir así directo. Yes, Shuda. Sorry. Ok, so now it begins. Attachment, abhorrence. Just notice there is not attachment, comma, abhorrence. It is a same complex. Attachment, abhorrence otherwise known as Ragdvesh. <clears throat> Anger, pride, deceit, greed, okay? All together, you know, moving back and forth are all things that give pain, that give rise to pain or that give pain. The anger, pride, deceit, greed within are the ones who interfere in all of this. Interfere, dakho, you see? They the, that is called dakho. It's an important word, dakho. So I'm just going to put it in <clears throat> Gujarati and it means to interfere, you see, to interfere. Hmm? And you already know this from previous sessions, you see. Hmm? So it is, this is very fundamental. It is the anger, pride, deceit, greed within, inside. They are the ones who do the dakho or interfere in all of this. That which does not let one remain natural and spontaneous, sahaj, is called dakho, interference of the ego in unfolding karma. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Eh, apego y aversión. Eh, se dan cuenta que tiene una línea, no hay una coma ahí, o sea que este, es como que vienen juntos en opuesto. Después viene una coma y, de, y vienen todos juntos, la ira, el orgullo, la codicia, y la ira, el orgullo, la codicia y, y la, el engaño. Y todos estos, todos estos son los que traen el dolor. El orgullo, la ira, eh, la codicia y el engaño en, 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 que contraen eh, son eh, lo que traen a, a uno es la interferencia en todo esto. La palabra interferencia es DACO, eh, lo cual no nos deja permanecer de forma espontánea, Sahaj, y es llamado DACO, que es la interferencia del ego en el... En el En, en el karma eh, que se va descargando. All right, and so, even as we are sharing this, Dadavani, you know, our Matmas who are listening, if you have any questions, you can write it down in the chat or you can just say something and I will, yeah, Patricia and I will notice it, you see. Uh, yes. Si alguien tiene alguna pregunta, que lo escriba en el chat o que, o, o que la haga, que, vamos, que Yoda va a contestar. 
Questioner is asking, despite being miserable or in pain, despite being subject to pain, a lot of pain, why does a human being keep getting wound up in this worldly life? Why does he still ask or gets wound up in worldly life? You see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces la pregunta es, este, a, pesar, a pesar de estar miserables, ¿por qué los seres humanos continúan atados en esta vida mundana? La otra es, la persona no se siente bound up. He is in pain. He wants to become free. He does not like it, but he has no control, satta, in his hands. He is subject to the prakruti, the non-self complex. When he becomes free from the prakruti, then he can become free. Otherwise, the prakruti will continue to entangle him. The prakruti has already been formed and one is subject to it, under the control of it then the ball is no longer in your court. You see, once the prakruti takes over, then it is not in your, yours, your soul's court. Now, if, now, if you, well, notice the Y capital, the one who has received knowledge, become free from the prakruti, then the ball comes back into, in your court. Hay falta si quieres sacar. Let me see. Hello. Well, yes, yes. Es, es, eh, Anila, Michael, that is on. Anila, Anila. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. okay, thank you. Uh -huh. All right, so. <clears throat> so we continue. Uh, so if you, let me, I don't, uh, I, I can give you this much so you can translate, but anyway, let me finish it. If you, yes, yes. if you become free from the Prakruti, then the ball comes back in your court. Now you are in charge. Otherwise, as long as you are not free from the Prakruti, non-cell complex, it will continue to entangle you, confuse you. The entire world... <clears throat> wanders around being dependent on the prakruti. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, Dada Shri dice, una persona que no, una persona que no está atada, eh, que, que no ha sido atada, es su dolor, eh, él, él es su dolor, eh, y él quiere volverse libre. Eh, y él hace oh, sorry I'm going to What is eh, y entonces quiere volverse the problem my, my glasses <laughs> eh, Patricia's glasses okay eh, no it's okay I can make it eh, larger bueno, un, but no, this is eh, all eh, okay eh, mm -hmm. can I, you I, I can manage I can manage thank you una persona no no se ata no, no se queda atada es su dolor. Él quiere liberarse y él no él no quiere estar así, pero no tiene el control. Sata en sus manos. Él no tiene el control en sus manos. Él es sujeto de su prakruti, el, no, el complejo del no ser. Entonces cuando, eh, cuando él se vuelve libre de su prakruti, entonces puede liberarse. De otra manera, el prakruti continuará eh, eh, enredándolo y engañándolo. El prakruti eh, ya ha sido formado eh, y, uno de, y uno es sujeto a eso. Entonces, eh, la bola está, no está más de tu lado en la cancha. Y observen que yo, your es tu lado, ¿no? Y lo escribe con mayúscula y se está refiriendo al ser. Entonces vuelve a repetir con mayúscula. Y si tú te vuelves libre de tu, de tu prakruti, entonces la bola volverá a caer en tu, en tu lado. De otra manera, eh, 
mientras vos permanezcas, este, you are not free. mientras que tú no te liberes del Prakuti, eh, va a seguir engañándote y y enredándote. El mundo entero eh, busca eh, y está, está yendo buscando eh, eh, ser dependiente, independiente. Eh, anda por el mundo siendo dependiente de Supracruti. Mm -hmm. no, eh, ¿Shall continue reading? no, 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 I have to read this now, you know, I will read this in okay. English and then you have to read it. As, so, you know, while I'm okay. reading it, it's also by listening to the English words, you, the translation is forming inside Patricia, you see. As long as one is subservient, adin, to the Prakruti, the Purush, the self, the self-realized one, does not have a say over anything. See? And when the Purush becomes free from the Prakruti, then the Purush has all the say indeed. Okay, go ahead and translate that much. As, eh, mientras uno sea el, 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 el serviente, digamos, del Prakruti, el Purush, el ser, el ser realizado, eh, no... no no, no tiene nada que decir sobre eso. Pero cuando el Purush eh, eh, viene, se vuelve libre de su Prakruti. Entonces el Purush este, tiene que decir gracias. Okay. Cuando tú conoces... Ah, oh, 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 when, when, you, when you know who I am, and it comes into experience, then there is freedom. Otherwise, there is no freedom. Otherwise, you will keep on feeling these pains of the world. You will have to keep suffering the pains of the worldly life. At times, there is peace, and at other times, there is turmoil and disturbances. This is because of the Prakruti. Mm -hmm. Go on. Mm -hmm. eh, cuando tú sabes quién realmente eres, eh, y te, te vuelves en esa experiencia, entonces de, eh, ahí es la liberación. De otra manera, no hay liberación. Eh, por otro lado, vas a seguir sintiendo estos dolores. Y por otro lado, tam, si no tienes la liberación, vas a seguir sintiendo estos dolores. Eh, y vas a mantener el sufrimiento y los dolores de la vida mundana. En estos, en estos tiempos, en estas formas eh, de, de, de estar separado, de tener el, el Purush, es una paz, eh, hay, hay paz y otros tiempos. Eh, si no, uh, turmoil is, is a disturbance, you said. Yeah, turmoil si is no... disturbance, yeah. You know, it's not okay, yeah. disturbance, turmoil. Uh, ¿sí? This is eh, all of this is because of the prakruti. The disturbances okay. are because bueno, of prakruti. Mm -hmm. Todo 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 disturbio es uh, a causa del prakruti. One dances as the prakruti makes him. Yes, you know, the awareness of what is beneficial and what is harmful to oneself does not remain or prevail. When the Prakruti compels him to become angry, this is important. When the Prakruti compels him to become angry, he winds up getting angry. When the Prakruti compels him to cry, he even cries. He does not feel ashamed. He cries openly. He cries such that the tears trickle down. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, go on. Padre, Padre, ¿quieres que lo diga yo? Porque lo tengo traducido. Oh. Está bien, gracias. Thank Daniel you. Daniel is going to read it because he has it uh, translated. So I already translated it automatically. Oh, really? Uno baila como el Prakruti lo hace. No prevalece la conciencia de lo que es beneficioso y perjudicial para uno mismo. Cuando el Prakruti le obliga a enfadarse, se enfada. Cuando el Prakruti le obliga a llorar, llora. Ni siquiera se avergüenza, llora abiertamente. Llora de tal manera que las lágrimas gotean. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, this has been translated, right? Uh, uh, by uh, uh... Yeah, I have a software. Uh, oh, okay, software. Good. Oh, okay. Not perfectly, but. Yeah. Can... So 
So you can read it and, you know, Patricia will uh, listen to it, what you're reading. And uh, Damian, if this, uh, if there is any between the two of you, if there is any change, you can add that. Okay. So now okay. just read okay. from here. One, I will just read it. Well, I will, I, this one I have already read. One dances as a Prakruti makes him read from there. Hmm? Uh, but would you prefer to read first in English and then I... I yeah, right. I think so. Yeah, right. Okay. okay. So one dances as the Prakruti makes him. You see? Prakruti makes him dance and he believe if you know i'll just let's, let's stick to this one right now one dances as the prakruti makes him the awareness of what is beneficial and what is harmful to oneself does not prevail when the prakruti compels him to become angry he winds up becoming angry or getting angry and when the prakruti compels him to cry he even cries he does not even feel ashamed he cries openly. He cries <coughs> such that the tears trickle down. Okay, go on. Ah, es, uh, okay. Uno yeah. baila como baila, como el prakruti lo hace. No prevalece la conciencia de lo que es beneficioso y perjudicial para uno mismo. Cuando el prakruti le obliga a enfadarse, se enfada. Cuando el prakruti le obliga a llorar, llora. Ni siquiera se avergüenza. Llora abiertamente. Llora de tal manera que sus lágrimas gotean. Good. Now the questioner, is it the prakruti that compels one to cry or the karma that compels one to cry, Dada? Hmm? Interlocutor, ¿es el prakruti lo que le obliga a uno a llorar o es el karma lo que le obliga a uno a llorar, Dada? And Dada she replies beautifully, he says karma actually means prakruti. It is considered oh. the... Karma, it is considered the causal or the original mole prakruti. It is the effective prakruti that indeed carries out everything, you see. So, it is the effective or the discharge prakruti that does, and what does one say? The discharge prakruti is doing, and what does one say? I did it, and that is called egoism, you see. Uh -huh. Y Dada le contesta, karma en realidad significa prakruti, se considera el prakruti causal, eh, mur, es el efectivo, prakruti que de hecho lleva a cabo todo, es el prakruti, el de descarga, el que lo hace, y el que dice, uno, yo lo hice, eso se llama egoísmo. Yeah, uh, here I just noticed... Yeah. Uh, uh, it is, you can, you know, Dada Shri has actually said a mood prakruti. It is, this causal is not, you should remove the causal. That is the, it is the original prakruti. The, it is considered the uh, main prakruti, not causal, main. Mool, mula means main, main. You know, can you change that from causal to Main prakruti, you see? Main. Yeah, karma means, you see, usually, you know, when we we define karma as the causal, you know, karma. When you say karma, is, karma actually means I am doing this. That is called karma, you see? And then they, that that results in the effect karma, otherwise known as prakruti, that indeed carries out everything. So it is the main prakruti, is the, it is called the main prakruti. Main prakruti means the, the, uh, the creation, the, the karma cause, karma, creation of karma is called prakruti, right? Prakruti. But karma actually means prakruti. That is fine. Karma is indeed prakruti, okay? And, and so there is in that, there is the cause and the effect, you see. Um, Patricio, ¿quieres traducirlo vos? O como quieras. No, 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 dale que lo tenés traducido. 
Go ahead, go ahead, uh, uh, Damien. Sí, es, una, es una acotación que él hace a la lectura. Ahí, ahí voy. Entonces, él dice que no es prakruti causal el mol, sino que es prakruti principal. Porque causal es karma, no, no prakruti. Ya, yeah, you know what is... <coughs> what, what is exactly happening here, the other is saying, is karma... The karma means prakruti. In that karma, which people define as he is doing this, they are doing this, that is not the real karma. The real karma is the wrong belief with which he is enveloped, and therefore he says, I am doing it. You see, what, when prakruti is doing it, where prakruti is doing it, he says, I am doing it. You see, so when it is happening, it is being carried out, Where karma is are actually in the effect karma, the karma is unfolding in the prakruti. Again, he says, I am doing it, and that is called karma, causal karma, or the original prakruti. Yeah, you know, causal karma is original prakruti. And then this result of this is the effective prakruti that carries out everything. It is the effective or the discharged prakruti that does everything. And what does one say? I did it. And that is called egoism. This, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Damian, you, your translation is fine. You can leave it as it is. But this is extra stuff. That causal stuff is the extra interpretation that is given by the translator. Actually, it's the original Prakruti. It is considered the original Prakruti. Original Prakruti is charges you see and charges in discharge you see what is discharging by it says i am doing it so it is called charge original prakruti you understand everybody everybody understand mm? <coughs> yes yeah. excuse me i am not rosy vos patri rosito que dijo además de la de lectura y yo leo nada más si te parece. Bueno, está. Este, igual es lo que dice, que el karma es el prakruti, pero, y el prakruti es el efecto, la creación del karma es el prakruti, no es el karma real. El karma real es, son las creencias de que yo estoy haciendo eso, y ese es el efecto de, de, de karma, de creer que yo estoy haciendo esto. La causa... Eh, la causa de karma es el prakruti, es el, 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 el prakruti original, en efecto, ¿no? Que está dando eh, los efectos. Ok, Marcela is saying something. Yes, Marcela. Yaisa Chita Nanchura. Yes, Una Chita. pregunta. ¿El prakruti se va modificando con la práctica que tenemos de la ciencia del NAN? ¿O nos acompaña hasta el final de nuestros días el mismo prakruti que tenemos? Esa es la pregunta. The, the, the question is that if the prakruti is modifying along the time or is always the same prakruti? Modifying? As, well, long, as long as the karma discharges modifies the prakruti. No, it doesn't, or, no, it doesn't modify. It simply discharges. Nothing modifies. What was charged is exactly how it discharges, you see. So if and that's the important thing to understand. Dada Shri says, you know the question was Dada, what makes me cry? Is it the prakruti that makes me cry or is it the karma that makes me cry, Dada? And Dada replies, karma <laughs> means prakruti. Prakruti means karma. Apart from karma, There is only the Amapura, Shuddhatma Bhagwan. There is nothing else. Everything else is the Prakruti, you see. Uh, prakruti. It's the, everything else is the Karma. But which Karma is in front of us? Then it is the discharging Karma. <coughs> discharging mind, discharging speech, discharging body, <coughs> and everything that is associated inside with it. Everything is part of is Prakruti, otherwise known as discharge karma. The other name for Prakruti is discharging karma. But why does not Dada call Prakruti as discharging karma? Because 
that's not, that's an incomplete definition of uh, prakriti prakriti also charges you see the prakriti charges in ignorance the prakriti is created because you know in discharge everything is happening to marcela but in ignorance she will marcela will say i did it i did it i am doing it and that is defined as egoism beautiful definition of egoism is i did it i also i also i am marcela is not is simply ego but to exercise that ego i did it i am doing it that is called egoism clearly in front of us here you understand so prakriti means both is the total complex of prakriti prakriti means total complex of karma cause and effect that is called prakriti and for us uh, all let me translate sorry uh -huh. okay go, go ahead go ahead uh -huh. Yes, yes. Eh, acá este, a, a tu pregunta, Marcela, dice que, que no se modifica el, el Prakruti. Es la descarga la que se modifica, ¿no? Entonces, este, cuando le preguntan a Dada qué es lo que me hace llorar, si el karma o el, o el Prakruti. Y en realidad, el Prakruti es, es el karma. Y después, aparte de eso, no hay, es, todo el resto es alma pura y, y la descarga de karma y la descarga de la mente de karma eh, de la mente el cuerpo el habla y todo lo asociado con eso la descarga de karma este y acá hay algo que no no falta y es este que el prakruti crea karma pero también carga karma en ignorancia no cuando dice bueno yo lo hice y esto de yo lo hice eh, que acá se, es como egoísmo lo, lo se traduce eh, es, eh, yo lo hice, ¿no? Como la, la mejor explicación eh, de, de, de la creencia de que soy el Prakruti. Este, y todo el complejo total de la mente, cuerpo y habla, todo eso es causa y efecto. ¿no? Todo mm -hmm. lo que sucede es una descarga. Ajá. So, you know, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so, This word causal should be replaced by main prakruti. It is considered the main prakruti. Karma means main prakruti, you see. Main prakruti charges and then because it's charged, it discharges, you see. And so that is then everything will fit together. And while it is discharging, by saying I did it, uh, egoism is creates the new prakruti, you see. Mm. Yes. Eh, la, 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 lo más importante este, de, este, no es causal, es eh, el, el más importante, el más destacado es el Prakruti. Y el Prakruti carga y descarga. Y, y carga cuando, cuando tú dices yo lo hice. Yeah. You see, the thing is, the causal part of the prakruti the char charge part of the karma is not visible it is just the feeling is the belief that i did it i am doing it is the wrong belief that i am doing all of this is causing charging you see but what is visible and what is what is in front of all of us is this world of the five senses and the mind speech and body And it is all effect prakruti. It is all prakruti that is doing everything. Yes, the prakruti is doing it, you know. But it really prakruti is not doing everything. But <coughs> by saying that the prakruti is doing, you you know, by saying that the prakruti is doing it, you say you are blaming the prakruti in fact we know who is doing it the doer is scientific circumstantial evidence you see so i did it is the egoism you see actually dada says the effective prakruti is discharging and you know the charged batteries are discharging that is all you see this speech in satsang that is going on is discharging you see hmm? 
and to say i am translating i am speaking i am reading i am thinking is all really called egoism but you know that it is no longer egoism for us because it has been our sense and belief of i am doing i am the doer has been absolutely removed in the gnan vidhi i am no longer the doer mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. yes <coughs> eh, el sentimiento, ¿no? el pensamiento, la creencia de que yo lo hice, esto es lo que carga karma. Los cinco sentidos y la mente, el cuerpo y el habla es el prakruti que lo está haciendo. Pero tú dices, este, culpas al prakruti. Y en realidad este, no puedes culpar al prakruti porque son las evidencias científicas circunstanciales. Eh, y el decir que el prakruti lo hice o yo lo hice, eso tiene que ver con el ego, el ego, ¿no? Este, y todo lo que sucede es por un efecto de descarga. Eh, y en realidad el hacedor, este, creer que eh, para nosotros los Mahatmas, el hacedor eh, de que yo lo hice todo eso, eso fue absolutamente removido y, y sabemos que no somos los hacedores. Okay, now we read the, the, or the translation that you've got, uh, uh, Damien. Who asks for tea? The Prakruti asks for it. Who asks for this jalebi? That's an Indian golden round and round sweet. Who asks for this jalebi? Who becomes hungry? Who becomes thirsty? The Prakruti does all of this. When insulted, who is the one being insulted? It is the prakruti. Anything that comes your way is because of your prakruti. Everything you receive is in accordance with your prakruti. There are some beneficial things, and it is good if they come to you naturally. If they come, then let them come. And if it is not possible for them to come to you, then let it be. Remain natural. Remain sahaj. S-A-H-A-J. Do not interfere. That which does not let one remain natural and spontaneous is called dako. You see? This you interfere. In. Okay. Sorry. Go on now. I read. Uh-huh. ¿Quién pide te? Lo pide el prakruti. ¿Quién pide te salevi? ¿Quién tiene hambre? ¿Quién tiene sed? El prakruti hace todo eso. Cuando te insultan, ¿quién es el insultado? Es el prakruti. Todo lo que te llega se debe a tu prakruti. Todo lo que recibes está de acuerdo con tu prakruti. Hay algunas cosas beneficiosas y es bueno que te lleguen en forma natural. Si vienes, entonces déjalas venir. Si vienen, entonces déjalas venir. Y si no, es posible que vengan, entonces déjalo estar. Eh, permanece natural, no interfieras. Lo que no te permite permanecer natural y espontáneo se llama daco. Es called daco. Es hmm? called daco. Daco. Nada, she says, go on further. You <coughs> will receive everything in accordance, in accordance with your prakruti. In accordance with the demand from within the prakruti, those who like black pepper will get black pepper. Those who like cardamom will get cardamom. Those who like eggplant will get eggplant. Those who drink tea will get tea. And if tea with the ginger powder is the is in one's prakruti, then he will get tea with ginger powder. But the anger, pride, deceit, greed within are the ones who interfere in all of this. This is very important. But the anger, pride, deceit, greed within are the ones that interfere in all of this. Greed teaches one, lobe, greed teaches one to accumulate things. And on top of that, he uses deceit for that, thereby interfering even more gravely, more dangerously. Hey, there is no need to interfere at all. Attachment abhorrence, ragdvesh, anger, pride, deceit, greed, krodhma and maya are all things that give pain. 
that generate pain, that itself is called kashai. Kashai means that which continues to cause pain to the relative self within. You see, file one. That which continues to cause internal turmoil and restlessness. You see, disturbances. A jumpo, you know, in you know his inter distress internally. So, all right, so let you read this now. Mm -hmm. Sí, recibirás todo de acuerdo con tu prakruti, de acuerdo con la demanda de tu interior. Aquellos a, a los que les gusta pimienta negra recibirán pimienta negra. Aquellos a, a los que les gusta el cardamomo recibirán cardamomo. Aquellos a, a los que les gusta la berenjena recibirán berenjena. Aquellos que beben té recibirán té. Y si el té con jengibre, y si el té con jengibre en polvo está en el prakruti de uno, entonces recibirá té con jengibre en polvo. Pero la ira, el orgullo, el engaño y la codicia son los que interfieren en todo esto. La codicia le enseña a uno a acumular cosas y encima utiliza el engaño para eso, interfiriendo así aún más gravemente. No hay necesidad de interferir en absoluto. El apego, la ira, el orgullo, el engaño y la avaricia son todas cosas que dan dolor. Eso mismo se llama kashai. Kashai significa aquello que continúa causando dolor al ser interior, relativo. Aquello que continúa causando agitación interna e inquietud. Se llama ayampo. Now, you see, the small S. Es... It's very good. The small SCLF is Damian, Shuddha, Patricia, etc. The S capital uh, self is Amapura, that we all know. Hmm? Now, so now we just. Noten esto que la, acá la S, esta con minúscula, se refiere a, a Damian, Patricia, Shuddha, y con S mayúscula se refiere al ser. Mm -hmm. Good. So now we just finished this magnificent heading, beginning of uh, this that we just read, which is. <clears throat> uh, so Damian, read this one here, please, again, because you know it, it's a heading. Hmm? The 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 heading. Ah, attachment. The heading. No, the first oh. heading. The first. The first. The first heading. heading. Yes. Okay. Let me go to we're, we're just, uh, you know, recapitulating yeah. it. Uh -huh. yeah. El apego, el aborrecimiento, ira, orgullo, engaño y avaricia son todas cosas que dan dolor. La ira, el engaño, la codicia interior son los que interfieren en todo esto. Aquello que no le permite a uno permanecer natural y espontáneo, Sahaj, se llama Daco, interferencia uh -huh. del ego en el despliegue del karma. Uh, so you 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 translated this anger, pride, deceit, and greed. Did you not? Yes. A as it is, first, right? First heading. Yeah. And uh, this, so this one here, all six, and then the four: anger, pride, deceit, greed. You see? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, uh, big lesson here for all of us is that the the co, the interference is by these four, these four, you see, which are a part of att attachment and abhorrence. If these are not there, or these, they have gone away, you see, or if, then there is no interference, you see. Hmm? This is very important. Hmm? Go on. Mm -hmm. Bueno, le dacó, que quiere decir interferencia. Este, ay, quiere seguir vos también, perdón. No, 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 seguí vos. Ah, dacó, interferencia de la ira, el orgullo, la codicia y el engaño, el apego y la aversión. Si no estuvieran estos seis, entonces no habría dacó, no habría interferencia. Beautiful, you know, Dada Shri emphasizes the world pain. The world is in pain, you see, and the world does not realize what causes pain, you see, what causes misery and all the difficulties in life. And Dada Shri begins by giving the answer that it is these six which 
are within, they're inside. They're not outside, they're inside. And that is what is causing pain in this world. So to become pain-free, one has to begin to see inside, not outside, you see. You don't see outside, you see inside. Hmm? Yes. Este, en el mundo el dolor, eh, el dolor y, y la miseria, eh, el, el dolor, lo que causa la miseria, el dolor, es este, es, se debe a estos seis, a estos seis, al apego a la aversión, el, la ira, el orgullo, la codicia y el engaño. Esa es la hermosa respuesta que nos da dada. Y no tenemos que buscar adentro, sino que tenemos que buscar, a, a, no tenemos que buscar afuera, sino buscar adentro. Eh, mirar adentro. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, means, now, when you put an A in front of the word Sahaj, when you say a Sahaj, it becomes unnatural, you see? So I just put it in the chat. It's unnatural. So what does not allow you to come to your natural being, peaceful, state is called dukho. It does not, it makes you asahaj, you see, asahaj. You, you know, if you become resistance, you become uh, inflexible, you know. Uh, the, all, and all of this inflexibility inside it, it arises because of the presence of these four in various proportions, you see, these four hmm? inside. <clears throat> yes, uh, discharging, mm. but they're still there, you see. Mm. Mm. Yes. Um, eh, habla de la palabra sahash es natural, y si le agregas una A antes, asahash. Asahash es no natural. Entonces, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que impide que estés en, en el estado de paz natural? Es, este, es la, la resistencia, la inflexibilidad dentro de cada, de cada uno que surge por la ira, el orgullo, la codicia y el engaño, que es una descarga, pero surge por eso. Beautiful. Now, so the next heading. Uh, is... So this heading that uh, uh, we all covered, the top heading, was actually from one Apta Sutra, one Aptavani one, and the book of Sahajita. There is a book, by the way, called Sahajita. Okay, there is a book, by, uh, and this one was published after 2006. You see, published published in, published after Niruma left, you see, after Niruma. That was the first book published by our Gnani, you see. <clears throat> Sahajita. It has not, it has been translated, but it's not being shared right now, you know. Mm -hmm. We get material from there. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, acá, este, esto que estamos viendo viene de Aptabanes y... y... Y, y, la, y hay un libro que se, fue publicado en el 2006 después que Niruma partió. Es el primer libro que publicó nuestro actual Nani Purush. Y se llama Sahajat. Yeah, no está disponible, Sahajata. pero compartimos. Sahajata. Sí. Sahajata. Sahajata means the state of being natural, you know, or how to become natural. Hmm? All right, it's, it's a very advanced level of thing, but slowly as our interference decreases, then we will more become more and more natural. You know, somebody says, stupid, oh, get out. You know, uh, there is nothing to receive. There is no intellect inside that receives that. In, uh, and that, so nothing disturbs you. The intellect is not there to strike back, you see. Hmm? Uh, <clears throat> now we Yes. Mm -hmm. este, este libro habla eh, es este, sobre el volverse natural, ser absolutamente natural. Y la interferencia no permite este, ser natural, no permite eh, estar en paz. Y es el intelecto el que está allí eh, 
interviniendo. Cuando eh, estás en un estado avanzado, el intelecto deja de, de... No hay intelecto para recibir los insultos. Mm -hmm. Now, the next hitting, I will just read that and then let our dear Damian continue. Attachment abhorrence. You see? Notice a part of the same spectrum. You don't say comma. Attachment abhorrence is duckal. Now, ducko we already know. Ducko, we just interference. Now, duckal means interference effects. The results of interference caused by the ego in the unfolding of the karma. The effects of interference. Duckal is the effect of ducko. Ducko, you know, you interfered, you see. Then there is the result of the interference, duckal, you see. So again I read, attachment abhorrence is duckal. Whatever stock of karma has been filled in, that will continue to discharge. But there will be no attachment abhorrence. That is the daily routine of Mahatmas. For Mahatmas, whatever was karma was filled in, it is discharging, but there is no ragdvesh, there is no attachment, abhorrence. You see, that is the daily routine of Mahatmas. Okay, Damien. El apego aversión es dakal. Son los efectos de interferencia causados por el ego en el desarrollo del karma. Los efectos de interferencia. Cualquiera que sea el stock de karma que se haya llenado, eso continuará descargándose, pero no habrá apego o aversión. Esta es la rutina diaria de los Mahatmas. Yeah. And... <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, why did I lose this? Okay. Uh -huh. Go on, I'm listening. Yes, okay. I will. Let me just, just give me one 30 seconds here. Okay. Okay, I just need to connect something because I'm losing my Gujarati, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, um. Gabi, Gabi, yes. Chuda, eh, cuando dice que estamos nosotros liberados del apego y la aversión, en el fondo es que estamos separados de ello, porque el apego y la aversión es inherente al prakruti, ¿no? Entonces cuando se siente este apego y esta aversión, eh, es parte de la descarga, ¿no? Nosotros nos separamos de eso al observarlo. No, es bueno, como que va a seguir existiendo este apego y esta versión ver, mientras déjame, tengamos déjame esta si condición puedo. humana en el fondo. Déjame ver si puedo traducir. Perdón, no, no, mira, bueno. este es cortito, te lo perdona. Ver, cortito, te lo hago sí. cor más corto. El apego y la versión es inherente al prakruti. Attachment eh, and abhorrence are in inherent to the prakruti. Entonces, yeah, yeah. Nosotros, al observarlo, nos estamos separando de ello, ¿no? When we see that, we are separating from that, from the yeah. property. Yes, when in the seeing, you're always separate. Whenever you see this with an S capital seeing that we talked about in our previous sessions on Purnatva, you know, or, you know, we completed the whole... You know, we be have we we when we come to see this, you know, and in fact, you are the seer and the knower of it. But the only problem is with the belief that it is happening to me or I am doing it. So when in with satsang and with agnas, and you get into. Initially, the practice of seeing, and afterwards it becomes natural. When then you naturally, in the seeing process, none of this belongs to you. It is you are you are the purush, you are the purush, and this is the prakriti, 
and that has a label called gabi or you see or moni etc see this is prakriti prakriti so the prakriti has all of these things and the prakriti is the one that has the discharging anger pride deceit and greed they are not real now those are not real this you know active but by ignorance by saying this is happening to me i am upset etc you give energy to it and you light up again those that were going to die anyway you see so just seeing is the best approach when you see it you be and you see them and then you know them for what they are you see first you see them and then you know oh ho so this is called greed this is anger this is pride this is deceit mm-hmm. you see so you're right is the seeing is the freedom the seeing is the separation you see mm-hmm. and the seeing has begun within all of us mahatmas you know hmm? yeah Mm-hmm. Go on. Bueno, eh, traduzco yo. Sí, sí. Eh, 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 la, me perdí la mitad, eh, te cuento. Eh, en, lo, en, en lo no real, es por ignorancia, este, eh, cuando no podemos verlo, ¿no? Este, pero cuando podemos poner, eh, y, ¿y qué hacemos? Le ponemos más luz a la ira, al orgullo, a la codicia y el engaño. Y el hecho de poder ver, ver y conocer eh, qué es lo que son, ¿no? Si es la codicia, si es el engaño, si es el orgullo, ya el solo hecho de poder ver muestra eh, la separación. Ok. Y la acción de ver es la liberación, de que habla de que la, vos... Yeah. All right. So, um, um, yes, the, uh, you know, uh, this is the process. This, what we have now, you see, is the progress with for all of us. To move in the direction, move forward. It is not enough to say, so I'm a pura, I'm a pura, and I'm going to fo- follow the agnas of Dada. That's the best thing, but it is not enough. You have to actually uh, employ this vision, you see, employ this vision uh, and move forward, you see. See that any time there is any kind of disturbance in our life, it is really not. In, is it is really nothing outside it is a dead disturbance is the stirring up of the kashais anger pride deceit and greed are somehow being stirred up by 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 are getting excited you see inside hmm? and uh, uh, and the the ability to see that means you are not at all looking at anything that is happening outside you are just you and i are now seeing inside the interference is nobody is interfering with you this is very important the nobody is interfering with you or your life it is your kashais your anger pride deceit and greed that is playing with the interference you see hmm? yes este este es el progreso para todos este y no es suficiente con estar diciendo soy alma pura soy alma pura todo el día es emplear esta visión para poder avanzar y si hay algún disturbio o molestia inconvenientes es saber que la ira y el orgullo la codicia y el engaño que están dentro están exacerbados, ¿no? Y, la, y tener la habilidad para poder ver los que están adentro y no afuera es lo que nos, nos lleva adelante. Y, y tener claro, saber que nadie puede interferir en tu vida. Mm-hmm. Este, es que lo único que puede interferir es tu propia ira, nuestra propia ira interior, nuestro propio orgullo, codicia, engaño, apego y aversión. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, this. So, uh, 
this becomes clearly evident whatever uh, dear Damian just read this one this much now what is the daily routine of we Mahatmas this is not this is not the routine as much as the how are Mahat what is happening to Mahatmas and the other she says that for them it is the filled stock of karma that means filled stock of karma whatever karma was charged is discharging but they for them there is no attachment or no abhorrence you see so they are neither attached to it nor is there any abhorrence or aversion reactions to it that is actually the case for each one of us everything happens after a while you know no matter how bad it was really it we are not bothered by it that is our experience, is it not? After the Gnan Vidi, you see. Uh, and that is the daily charya. That is the daily... That is how Mahatmas are moving about in this world, you see. Mm -hmm. No attachment, no abhorrence. That the attachment, abhorrence are very, very serious things. And they we have been removed far away from it in the Gnan Vidi. There is no attachment and there is no abhorrence, you see. Mm. Mm. Understand? Dice que que cualquier cosa que cualquier clase de karma que se haya llenado este va a descargarse, ¿no? Y que eh, que no, que no estamos en los Mahatmas en apego y en aversión. Y esta es la rutina diaria de, de los Mahatmas. No poder ver eso. So now we read the details. Questioner is asking, prior to attaining Gnan, prior to attaining Gnan, which is the, not only the knowledge of the self, but also the knowledge of the doer, that is Gnan. So prior to attaining Gnan, and even now, occasionally, this happens. When I have to go through some difficulty, and then someone else faces the same difficulty, <coughs> when I have had to go through some difficulty, in other words, I have already I'm passed, it happened to me, and then someone else faces the same difficulty, then I feel from within that, it is good that this happened. What is that, Dada? Damian? Antes de alcanzar el Nan, sí, sí. Antes de alcanzar el Nan, e incluso ocasionalmente, esto sucede. Cuando, cuando he tenido que pasar por alguna dificultad y luego otra persona se enfrenta a la misma dificultad, entonces siento desde mi interior que es bueno que esto haya sucedido. ¿Qué es eso, Dada? And the other she says, this feeling inside, in feeling of, it is good that this happened, is an effect of abhorrence. It is a dvesh parinam. It is the result of abhorrence. And if you feel it is bad that this has happened, then it is called, it is an effect of attachment. The stock of the effective intents of attachment abhorrence that had once one that one had filled within in the past life in the past means in the past life are being discharged today whereas there is no such thing as good or bad in god's view whereas there is no such thing as good or bad in the view of the lord the absolute self god otherwise you know, a view. Everything is only gneya, something to be known only. It is only worth knowing it. Mm. Uh -huh. Dada dice, el sentimiento de que es bueno que esto haya sucedido es un efecto de la aversión. Y si sientes que es malo que esto haya sucedido, entonces es un efecto del apego. El stock de los de las intenciones efectivas de apego 
o, o aversión que uno había llenado dentro en la vida pasada están siendo descargados hoy. Mientras que la visión de Dios, el ser absoluto, no existe nada bueno, mientras que en la visión de Dios o el ser absoluto no existe nada bueno o malo. Todo es solo un objeto para ser conocido, Mei. Solo vale la pena conocerlo. Yeah. See, the same negative thing that happens is happens to somebody. If that person is somebody that you dislike, that you never liked, who is your competitor, who with whom you have negative views, then when he suffers, then you'll say it's good that it's happened. But the same thing if it happens to somebody that you love and you like, a family member, etc., then you will, same thing, you will say it is bad that this has happened, you see. So that is, you know, that is because there is that you're attached to that human being. Whereas for the other one, you are in abhorrence. You don't like that human being. That's all, you see. So this is, these are called effects or parinam. Effects means results of attachment abhorrence that was filled in within this prakruti in the last life during the time of formation of the prakruti, the causal prakruti, you see. And the effective or the discharge prakruti is now there in front of us and it, you, all of these feelings arise inside. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Este, dice lo que, por ejemplo, para alguien, alguien que tú no quieres, que no aprecias, que es un competidor o lo que fuera, pero no, no lo quieres o no te gusta, cuando sufre o le pasa algo que no es bueno, tú dices, está bien que sufra, ¿no? Y cuando es a una persona que sí quieres le pasa lo mismo, tú dices, eso está mal. Pero en realidad, esto son, eh, y esto lo que muestra es el apego y la aversión. Cuando ve que, que alguien sufre y dice que está bien, ahí hay aversión. Y cuando alguien que quieres y, dice, y le pasa algo y tú dices que está mal, ahí hay apego. Estos son efectos de Parinam, es el apego y la aversión. Es una formación de la vida pasada que ahora está descargando. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so when it is seen as a parinam, as an effect, a result, and you know, just as Gabi was saying, when you see it as a result, then there is nothing. Then you are now seeing it as something that being known. You know, you're just knowing it. It is just knowing it. You, you are the gnata, G-N-A-T-A, and that which is happening now is seen as gneya. You're just knowing it. You're just seeing it. You are not, and therefore, you are separate from it, you see? Hmm? Hmm. You, are, you have now come... <laughs> Sorry, that means you're coming... Yeah, so that means you're coming closer to God or the moving more towards your absolute self. I'm, I'm absolute pure soul, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cuando mm. puedes ver el resultado, este, cuando lo ves, eh, lo puedes conocer. Cuando lo ves, es, es, es gnata, y cuando lo conoces, es gneia. Y solamente cuando puedes, este, puedes ver esto, te puedes acercar más a, 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 al, 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 al ser absoluto, a la visión del, del Dios, del ser absoluto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, questioner, what should I do when this happens? What should I do when this happens? Should I do pratikraman? Huh? Which is, of course, we all know what confess. Uh, you know, should I do pratikraman for this? Dadashri, when that happens, you should see, emphasize this word see as capital, that this happened here, And that happened there. That is all. You have to see you, Amapura, you, Isoy Amapura, have to see in that situation. And if perhaps through the effect of abhorrence, because if, you know, if abhorrence is unfolding, 
uh, excessive injustice is being done to the other person, then there you should tell Chandupai, my friend, you do pratikraman. Why do you do atikraman, aggression, you see, through mind, speech and body? Now do pratikraman. Do that only if it is excessive. Otherwise, there is no need for that. If it is not hurtful to the other person. This is, that is just your understanding. You should wash it off yourself. When you see it as, when you, uh, this is Y capital, S capital. When you see it as something, as an object to be known, it gets washed off. Again, Gabi's question, it gets washed off. Whereas in the ignorant state, if something bad were to happen to someone, if you do not have this knowledge of the self and knowledge of the doer, if you do not have gnan, so that means you are ignorant. If something bad were to happen to someone, then you would feel it's good that it happened. You know, he was, he was so egoistic. I'm glad it happened to him. You see? And then, and that, that means, when if you say it is good that it happened, that there is indeed abhorrence prevailing towards him. You are in dvesh. You are in abhorrence. Now, after self-realization, there is no abhorrence underlying that situation. You may really feel you, that it is bad that this happened, or it is good that this happened. So understand that it is the filled stock of karma that is inside, that is all coming out, you see. You're feeling good or bad when something bad happens to somebody else, you see. It is all filled kind of karma that is discharging, that is coming out. Yes, okay. Um, uh, Interlocutor. Mm-hmm. ¿Qué debo hacer cuando ocurre esto, Dada? ¿Debo hacer praticraman? Eh, y Dada dice, cuando esto ocurra, deberías verlo. Esto ocurrió aquí y aquello ocurrió allí. Eso es todo lo que tienes que ver en esta situación. Y si quizás a través del efecto de la aversión se está cometiendo alguna injusticia excesiva hacia la otra persona, entonces tú debes decirle a Chandubai, amigo mío, tú haces praticraman. ¿Por qué hiciste a ti kraman? que es dañar a otro ser vivo a través de la mente, palabra del cuerpo. Ahora haz praticraman, hazlo solo si es excesivo. De lo contrario, no hay necesidad de hacerlo si no es hiriente para la otra persona. Esto es solo lo que tú entiendes. Cuando tú ves como un objeto a ser conocido, se elimina. Mientras que en estado de ignorancia, si algo malo le ocurriera a alguien, entonces sentirías, es bueno que haya ocurrido. Y de hecho prevalece la aversión hacia él. Ahora, después de tomar la conciencia del ser, no hay aversión subyacente eh, en cada situación. Es posible que realmente sientas que es malo que haya sucedido o es bueno que haya sucedido. Entonces, comprende que es la reserva llena de karma que está saliendo. Cualquier stock de karma que se haya llenado continuará descargándose, pero no habrá apego o aversión. Esa es la rutina diaria de los Mahatmas. Incluso si alguien te ha bofeteado, te ha causado una pérdida, no, no debe surgir ningún apego o aversión. Así es como debe ser. I don't remember, should I, uh, you finish the paragraph? Okay, yeah, all right. That is, okay, well, I'll just try to read this here. Whatever stock of karma has been filled in, that will continue to discharge. But there will be no attachment abhorrence. <clears throat> the state of Mahatmas now, you see. That is the daily routine. That is the daily conduct of Mahatmas. You know, if somebody says, what do Mahatmas do from morning till evening? It is not what is visible that is called their daily routine, but inside they are just seeing the field stock coming out, you see. And in that seeing, they are, and that knowing, they are neither attached nor they are having any aversion for it. And that is how Mahatmas are. You know, whatever has been filled in, it's coming out and they are the blissful knowers of it, you see. Hmm? 
even if someone has slapped you or caused you a loss, no attachment abhorrence should arise. That is how it should be. You know, this is how it should be. Attachment abhorrence is dakhal, is interference reaction. You have to keep, you have to keep exhausting the filled stock of dakhal. You see, the past life interference. If there is no dakhal, then that is enough. The rest of the filled stock continues to discharge. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, now let me just re finish up to here. You should not buy new stock and you should empty out the old stock. Moreover, you want to close the shop, don't you? For those who want to close their shop, we have shown them the way to do so. Empty out your stock in this way by remaining in the five agnas, mm. you know, five sentences that preserve the awareness as the self in Akram Vignan, you see. If someone robs you, don't try to get even with him. You have to empty the stock. All right, let you read this much, huh? Es la reserva, de car eh, la reserva llena de karma que está saliendo. Cualquier stock de karma que se haya llenado continuará descargándose, pero no habrá apego o aversión. Esta es la rutina diaria de los Mahatmas. Incluso si alguien te ha bofeteado o te ha causado una pérdida, no debe surgir ningún apego o aversión. Así es como debe ser. El apego o aversión es Dakal. Tú tienes que seguir agotando la reserva llena de Dakal. Si no hay Dakal, entonces es suficiente. El resto del stock lleno continúa descargándose. Usted no debe comprar nuevas existencias, debe vaciar las antiguas. Además, quiere cerrar la tienda, ¿no? Para aquellos que quieren cerrar su tienda, nosotros les hemos mostrado la manera de hacerlo. Vacía tu stock de esta manera, permaneciendo en los cinco angas. Si alguien te roba, no intentes vengarte de él. Si tú tienes que vaciar tu stock. Hmm? If you become Chandubai, if you become Damian, then the attachment abhorrence is considered yours. Otherwise, how can it be called attachment abhorrence? So one would ask, then what is it that is happening? The answer is, all this that is happening it is happening to Chandupai, Damian, Patricia, and you, the pure soul, know what is happening. You also say, at the, you know, this should not happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Si te conviertes en Chandupai, entonces el apego a la versión se considera tuyo. De lo contrario, ¿cómo puede llamarse apego a versión? Así que uno pregunta, entonces, ¿qué es esto que está sucediendo? Y la respuesta es, todo esto que está ocurriendo le está ocurriendo a Chandubai. Y tú, el alma pura, sabes lo que está ocurriendo. Y también dices, so that también that dices esto no debería ocurrir. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Questioner. Sorry, that's fine. Questioner, yes, all that is correct. Dadashri, therefore, your... Opinion is different. You are Vitarag, absolutely without any attachment, abhorrence. That is why we said that there is tremendous Purusharth, real progress as the self, you see. Purusharth. going on your part, you see, going on in your part, you see. After becoming a Purush, Purusharth can prevail. Real progress as a self, you can even, I like to call it simply progress as a self, because you see, you're you're progressing as a self, you're going forward as the self, you're going 
towards the absolute self. You are Amapura, pure soul, and you are becoming absolute Amapura, progressing towards the self. That is called Purusharth. You are not just sitting. So after becoming a Purush, Purusharth can prevail. Otherwise, attachment abhorrence cannot stop on its own, even for a moment. See? If a bad thought has arisen in the mind, if a good thought has arisen, if something else has happened, a third thing has happened, and the self immediately sees all that, no matter what speech someone has uttered, uttered whether someone spoke negatively or positively, even then attachment abhorrence, do not arise. When attachment abhorrence do not arise, then it is known as the self. When ragdvesh do not happen, it is the ama. And when attachment abhorrence arise, it is known as sansar or worldly life. Or the belief that I am the body happens, you see. Dehadyas. I am this body. The foundation of worldly life is attachment, abhorrence, whereas the foundation of gnan is vitaragata in a stage where there is total absence of attachment, abhorrence. Okay, so let you read this. Hmm. Sí, dada así. Por lo tanto, como tu opinión es diferente, tú eres vitrag, absolutamente libre de todo apego o aversión. Es por eso que nosotros dijimos que hay un tremendo purushar de tu parte, progreso real como el ser. Después de convertirte en un Purush, Purushart puede prevalecer. De lo contrario, el apego y la aversión no pueden detenerse por sí mismos, ni siquiera por un momento. Si un mal pensamiento ha surgido en la mente, si un buen pensamiento ha surgido, si algo más ha sucedido, una tercera cosa ha sucedido. Él, el ser, inmediatamente ve todo eso. No importa el discurso que alguien haya pronunciado, si alguien habló negativo o positivamente, incluso entonces el apego y la aversión no surgen. Cuando el apego y la aversión no surgen, eso se conoce como el ser, Atmo. Y cuando surge el apego y la aversión, se conoce como la vida mundana, Sansar, o la creencia de que yo soy el cuerpo, de Dejadías. El fundamento de la vida mundana es el apego y la aversión, mientras que el fundamento del Nan es el Vitrágata. El, el estado libre de apego y aversión. This is a very beautiful paragraph that we just read, you see. You know, uh, <clears throat> in all that is happening, whether it is painful or pleasant, you see, our opinion as the pure soul is different. So I am Apura, my opinion is different. You are uh, we are vitrag. We are we are not attached to this that is happening, nor we are abhorrent or in dvesh reactions with what is happening, and that and that is the purusharth. That is the progress on our part. It, we don't have to do anything. It's just that we. Our ability to see it as it happens, immediately see all that, you see. Somebody said something stupid, somebody said something hurtful. You see that, and in the seeing, you are Vitarag. You and I are Vitarag, you see. We are so close to the Lord God himself, you see. Hmm? Very beautiful here. Eh, este hermoso párrafo este nos muestra que en todo lo que sucede nosotros somos alma pura y estamos en estado de tarag, sin apego, sin aversión, sin opiniones. Y ese, ahí está el verdadero progreso, ver lo que sucede y en ese ver lo que sucede mantener vitarag, mm -hmm. sin apego ni aversión. That's how the other three sees us, you know, you know, and then he says... You know, the other three, having completely detached us, completely 
uh, removed us from attachment, abhorrence, and with the subheadings of anger, pride, deceit, greed, you see, uh, having completely separated us from this, that is part of the prakriti, you know, he is, he, he has made us, in fact, vitarag, and we are vitarag. In the Gnanvidi, by 2%, we have the experience of the Absolute Self by 2%, by 2% in the Gnan Vidi, you see. And as we covered in our so many sessions of uh, the Purnavat, the, the previous sessions of our satsangs with, uh, with you all, you know, in fact, we have gone far beyond that two degrees, you see. You know, we have gone far beyond. We have gone far ahead into the self as the Amapura experience. The Amapura experience keeps us absolutely awakened and aware of what is happening and our opinion has changed completely. It is not happening to me. My opinion is the opinion without opinions. You see, my opinion is vitaragata, you know, uh, absolute detachment. That is my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dada no, nos ve así, ¿no? Completamente eh, separados, ¿no? Y porque él también nos removió de, del apego, la aversión, la ira, el orgullo, la codicia y el engaño, y separa toda esta parte del Paracruti. Además tuvimos la experiencia del ser en nuestro NAN, ¿no? La experiencia del ser absoluto en un 2%, y a través de todo el trabajo y todo lo, lo que venimos este, ent em, em, aprendiendo, entendiendo, eh, hemos ido más allá del 2% de, de la experiencia del alma pura, y estamos, nos mantiene, lo cual nos mantiene despiertos y conscientes. Este, las cosas sabemos que no nos suceden a nosotros, que son cosas que suceden, y... La opinión nuestra es el, el desapego, es no opinión. Absolutely. You see, the fundamental thing that happened to all of us in the Gnanviti is that our opinion changed. Before, our opinion and beliefs were, this is how it is, this is right, this is wrong, this is good, this is bad, this is happening to me, he is doing something bad. And fundamentally, when you came to the awareness of who you really are, who I really am, it is associated with a vision which is called the Vitarag vision, absolutely without, you know, we do not have an opinion about what is going on. We, in other words, we, you know, Chandubai, file one may have some opinions, but those are, do not have the energy that we, have with our opinion. You know, our opinion is I am Vitrag, you see. I am not involved. I'm not. And, you know, and because of the change in the opinion, Dada says there is tremendous Purusharth, means progress going on your part, you see. This is the, this is the railway line of the self, you see, the two. And the other one is the railway line. The other track is of the worldly interactions. You have been completely separated from it, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Este... Cosas no. que sucedían, este, teníamos, tenemos opiniones sobre lo que es bueno y lo que es malo, pero lo maravilloso y lo fundamental de tener este conocimiento es saber que eh, tener, tenemos conciencia de quién verdaderamente, quién soy, y esta es la visión Vitarag, no opinión. Si el, puede ser que el archivo 1 tenga, el file 1 tenga una opinión, pero esa, esa opinión no tiene absolutamente ninguna fuerza porque nosotros la estamos viendo. Y cuando esto sucede hay un tremendo puro chart. Y... Esto es lo que nos separa de las interacciones, estamos separados de las interacciones mundanas a través de esta nueva visión. Yeah, you see, this thing here is a very beautiful sentence. 
How, in what way are we with rag? Because our opinion is different. This is it. You know, our opinion is different. Our opinion is neither of hate or love, you know, attachment or reverence. Our opinion is different. So Amapura and all the qualities of the Amapura begin to flow out of you, you see. You are in that, you know, you are Vitrag, you see. Hmm? This simple sentence needs to be very critically understood. You know, it is different, it's changed. It is, therefore, now you're automatically in the Purushartha or the progress as the self. One, two, three, period. It's over. It's, oh, how shall, what shall I do with my attachment? What shall I do with my abhorrence? That is nonsense. It doesn't make any sense anymore after for a Mahatma after so many years, you know? Hmm? <laughs> Acá dice que, que es, qué es lo que cambió, es, es tu opinión lo que cambió, la opinión es diferente, yo soy Vitarag, este, yo soy Vitarag, yo soy alma pura y cuando estamos en este estado todas las cualidades del ser empiezan a surgir, entonces tú eres Vitarag, yeah. esto es lo más importante para poder entender que el Purusharte es este progreso, uh, el progreso del ser. Yeah. You see, uh, a while ago, Gabi was saying something that, you know, she was saying that uh, attachment, abhorrence continues otherwise. You see, this attachment and abhorrence is the state of the people of the world. It cannot, otherwise, uh, attachment, aversion cannot stop on its own, even for a second, even for a moment. Anybody who, until you become the self, ama, puras, for, you know, there is nothing but the world of attachment, abhorrence, anger, pride, deceit, greed. The ocean of kasha is just going on all around us, you see? Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. eh, el apego y la aversión es, eh, es el estado mundano. ¿no? el estado en el mundano la perversión no para no pueden parar por sí mismo ni por un minuto y esto es lo que nos lleva a ahogarnos en el océano de los calláis mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so you see this is so fundamental so clear right there in front of us it is not complicated you know it's right there in front of us there's a precise words of Dada Shri that have been translated, you know, through his grace into English, into Spanish now, you know, it's coming in front of you, you see. And so later on, you know, uh, whatever we have read to the, today will get, will be available in Portuguese for you, you see, which, you know, uh, all right, so if, And by the time we finish this Dadavani, the entire Dadavani will be there, you know, ready for you to read in, sorry, Spanish, you see, or Portuguese or whatever. Hmm? Hmm? All right. <clears throat> Esta, eh, hemos recibido estas precisas palabras de Dada, ¿no? Y, y con la gracia de Dada estas palabras vienen a nosotros y van a venir traducidas al, al español y vamos a seguir compartiéndolas. Now, reading further, Vitrag. Vita, by the way, Vita means without. Rag. Vitrag. Means that if a person were to hurl abuse at the one who is Vitrag, like a Mahatma, or Ignani, then he would not accept its effect, effect of the insult. In addition to not accepting it, the look on his face would not spoil either. His inner intent would not spoil either. Wow, his view will not spoil either. And his internal state would not spoil So, you know, face, inner view, intent, and inner state will not spoil. 
when even one's resultant effects do not spoil. In other words, there are some resultant effects as a result of somebody says, get out from here, you stupid fellow, you see. Then the resultant effects also do not spoil. Then he is with rag. When he is hurled and abused, when somebody throws a bad abuse to you, he is beaten. When he's beaten, when his house burns down, even then, none of his resultant effects inside get spoiled in any way. He simply remains with the rag. Now, this is the higher level, the total level of becoming with rag. Who becomes with rag? The one for whom there is no profit loss. No profit loss. No profit loss loss. No happiness or unhappiness. No duality. No pleasure. No pain. The one who has gone beyond duality is Vitrag. What do the Vitrag lords say? The world will indeed carry on. You should not get involved in duckle, in the interference reactions. If you want to come to moksha, then maintain vitragata, maintain this. All right, so let you read this, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, vitrag significa que si una persona lanzara insultos contra uno, que es vitrag, entonces él no aceptaría su efecto. Y además de no aceptarlo, tampoco se estropearía la mirada en su rostro. Tampoco se estropearía, se estropearía su intención interior, ni se estropearía su estado interno. Cuando ni siquiera los efectos resultantes de uno se estropean, entonces él es vitrag. Cuando se le lanza un insulto, se le golpea, su casa se quema, incluso entonces ninguno de sus efectos resultantes se estropea. Él simplemente permanece vitrag. ¿Quién se convierte en vitrag? Aquel para quien no hay pérdida ni ganancia, ni felicidad ni infelicidad, ni dualidad. Aquel que ha ido más allá de la dualidad es el vitrag. ¿Qué dicen los señores vitrag? El mundo de hecho continuará. Tú no debes involucrarte en Dakar. Si quieres llegar a Mox, entonces mantente vitrag. Mantén vitragata. Yes. <coughs> Beautiful. So, we have covered these headings and... Uh, in the next satsang, we will continue. Hmm? This uh, uh, I, I have a question. Next ne next week we, there is uh, the event of Parayam, no? So we will wait. So then we won't we are not... When, yeah. So it will be when it's all over, maybe next year we meet. Hmm? Whenever we have time. Okay. All right? So okay. we will work okay. together as a team. I mean, you know, whenever we have time, even you realize, Damian and uh, you, Patricia, that, you know, we have time, there is nothing going on, you know, there is no active satsang going on, then we have a uh, uh, Wednesday available like this. This is easy for me because this is still evening here. It's only 8.30 in the evening right now, you know, and so this is easy. Hmm? And so we will definitely join. Huh? Uh, yes. Uh, Thank one, you. Wonderful. So if you have a fantastic parayan that is coming up. Hmm? Beautiful. And uh, I'm sure it will be wonderful because, you know, that up to 24 and the qualities of the self, you know, are being explored sentence by sentence. They're very beautiful. Hmm? All right. So. Shuddhatma Bhagwan, wonderful. Jai Sachitana Shoda. Yeah, Thank Jai Sachitana. Jai Sachitana. Jai Sachitana. Jai Sachitana. Jai Sachitana. Jai Sachitana. Gracias, Pati. Gracias, Dami. 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 Jai Sachidana. Jai Sachidana. All right. Uh, Sandra, everyone. Huh? Yes, Jai Sachidana. 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 Jai